Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. Warm temperatures plus heavy rain that we've been getting recently. That equals what? It equals mosquitoes. <laughs> Southeast Termite and Pest Control offer one-time treatments with no monthly commitments. Or they can also offer discounted packages of three treatments, five treatments, seven treatments. Kill the skeeters. Call Southeast Termite and Pest Control this week. They will do it for you. All right, we are going to fly. And I mean fly. Everybody's got about 30 seconds, okay? Uh, rapid fire questions, UT, NFL draft related. Bob Hodge, we'll just go down the, the list here. Bob, the Browns coached Josh Dobbs and Davis Webb at the Senior Bowl and then drafted Deshaun Kaiser, which what does that tell you about what they thought of Josh Dobbs and Davis Webb? Uh, but will the Browns regret taking Kaiser and allowing Dobbs to go to their the, big yeah. rival, the Steelers? I tell you what, I think they may for, for no other reason that if you bring in Josh Dobbs, you bring in a, a, a character guy, a guy who's going to study, a guy who's going to represent you well. And I think the Browns need any positive thing that they can hang their hat on. So, so let's say neither one of them ever turn out to be pretty good quarterbacks. You still passed on an opportunity to bring in somebody who brings you positive pub the minute he puts one of your sweatshirts on. Which you can't necessarily say for Deshaun Kaiser. Correct. All right, next up, Josh Ward. The Browns have said they passed on Josh Dobbs, Derek Barnett, Alvin Kamara. They passed on some of that, those guys two, three, four times. Was there a VFL out there that could have helped them turn things around? If the Browns could have taken the VFL group, the big six, then I think <laughs> that would have helped the Browns. But I think, I think you got the long game here to play with the Cleveland Browns. I don't think one of these players was going to be able to make a big enough difference. That franchise, I think, has too long of a way to go. Trick question. Speci given to you for a reason. There is a VFL out there who could help the Browns turn it around. Uh, Reggie McKenzie. Okay. <laughs> Reggie <laughs> McKenzie, the GM of the Raiders, who's doing a tremendous job. If I were Jimmy Haslam, sorry. I think Reggie McKenzie's I'd, in a fine spot. I'd, I'd, get rid of the, I'd get rid of the analytics <laughs> Moneyball crew and bring in Reggie um. McKenzie. All right, that's the only VFL that could have helped them this year, I think. Mike Strange, Michigan led the nation with 11 players drafted this week. Mm. 11, all right? Those guys were recruited by one Brady Hoke, who's now the defensive line coach at Tennessee. Is that a positive for Tennessee? Or is it a stretch to say oh, the head coach there will recruit gangbusters here? I, I wouldn't, if I were Tennessee fans, I wouldn't go out and make reservations at wherever the <laughs> college football playoff championship is this year. But yes, it's a positive. I mean, recruiting is such a huge part of college football. And, and that, that's not a fluke that there were 11 Michigan players drafted and most of them were recruited by Brady Hoke. So it's not a big stretch. Okay, 30 seconds, Daniel. Uh, Butch Jones and UT are already pushing the fact I mentioned it earlier. Most players from UT to go in the first four rounds since 2002. Right. How much will that impact recruits? I think it's going to be huge because at the end of the day, it gives you, Coach Jones, if, it's, uh, if you're going in their house, if they don't have a motivation to play in the NFL, they don't need to be at Tennessee anyway. And so if that, if that doesn't help you out, then so be it. All right, very good. Last one, Chuck Cavallaris. He's over at the big board, but he's holding a small board. <laughs> and what it says, these were the undrafted free agents that we know of. Yes. Jason Croom to the Bills, Latroy Lewis to the Raiders, which is a bit of a surprise. Corey Vereen to the Patriots, Dylan Wiseman to the Raiders. We haven't gotten this one confirmed, but it's out there on social media. Malik Foreman to the Texans. But I'm going to ask, since we'll just take the first four, Chuck. Okay. Of those four, which one has the best chance to make it? Well, I think it's, it's going to be tough making a you know, defending Super Bowl champion roster, but I think Corey Vereen should have been drafted. And he's going to a place where they will give him a chance. And I, I believe he is the best football player on this list. They've played more undrafted free agents than anybody else in the league over the last 10 years. And, and one was, several of them were in the Super Bowl against the Falcons. Um, and Vereen had seven sacks last year. I like his chances. All I right. like Dylan Wiseman's chances. All right, Wiseman to the Raiders. Yep. Very good. All right, uh, when we come back, Mark Pancras jo joins us for a cup of coffee. And uh, also, <laughs> Lou Evans is back. We're going to talk SEC hoops. Then we'll tell you who's going to have the longest pro career. Come on back. <laughs> 